found it lost by the wayside. Uh, when I tell the children I haven't lost, I'm like Harriet Tubman, I've not lost anybody on my train yet. <laughs> 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 uh, you're under the oldest part of the buildings, and this building was built in 1822-23. There was still slavery in Brooklyn at that time. And it's quite possible that the contractor would have gone and found somebody, a, a, an owner, a, a farm owner, who had uh, enslaved people that made bricks and laid foundations and built buildings. So we don't know for sure, but I feel I'm pretty safe in assuming that this foundation was made in late slave labor, because that's the time period it was built. Uh, <coughs> now, when Henry Ford Beecher gets here and it becomes part of the Underground Railroad, we start with my story. <laughs> Somebody's dropped at the church by Charles B. Ray or another Underground Railroad conductor and a member of the congregation who's working with the Underground Railroad, the network of people working together, would bring them downstairs with a candle or a lantern. Tom Edison had not invented the light yet. There was also no running water. There was no running water in New York until the late 1850s. You had to go to wells to get your water and take it home and what you needed for the day. So, no running water, no electricity. You come downstairs with a candle or a lantern. We're going to take care of you as long as you're here. As soon as we can, we will move you to the next safe place, which I think was the East River and a ship. A ship that would be going up Long Island Sound and up the New England coast, or around and up the Hudson. And many of the men of our congregation worked with the shipping industry and were about three blocks from that East River. Get rid of the QE. About three blocks. So, as long as you're here, we'll take care of you. Give you a change of clothing. Maybe you tore your clothes coming north. Maybe there's an ad in the newspaper that said what you were wearing. That would be identity. At the very least, you're headed farther north. You'd be in warmer clothes. Give you food to eat. Take care of your medical needs. There'd be some sort of a mattress, probably straw on the floor, and a chamber pot for your toilet. You could be down here by yourself, two or three others, or two or three hundred others, we do not know. And as I said, this is one city block, this is Cranberry Street, all the way at the other end of the uh, sanctuary is Orange Street, and we could walk all the way through.